They said it couldn't be done, but they did it. They took the bridge and turned it into a musical instrument. A group of zanies calling themselves the San Francisco Synthesizer Ensemble decided to pluck the giant cables of the bridge like a harp. Here are the results. Look, nobody realized it at the time, but that great big gold or international orange thing that spans the Golden Gate isn't really a bridge at all. It's a harp. Yep, a giant harp. Oh, yeah, sure, it has a highway on it and 200,000 cars and trucks go across it every day, but look at it. It's a harp. And all that traffic, it's just so they could collect tolls to keep the thing painted and the strings in tune. Bang, bang, Maxwell Silver Designer engineer Joseph Strauss was probably the biggest prankster of the 20th century. I mean, what a joker. He sold the sophisticated snobs of San Francisco, not really a bridge at all. And up to now, nobody realized it until these guys, the motley crew of heavy metal. And I mean heavy metal bridge music, the San Francisco Synthesizer Ensemble. Now, what these guys do is play the bridge. How they do that, you say? Well, by plucking the suspender cables. Actually, they strike them with a hammer and record the vibrations. We have an amazing three-dimensional transducer called a FRAP. The FRAP. A flat response audio pickup that is sensitive to 0 0.005 kilohertz. The technique is use beeswax. The beeswax. Attach beeswax to the frap, attach the frap to the strand, and strike it with Maxwell's silver hammer. And what do you get? Five to seven cycle standing waveforms, which we will digitize, raise in octaves, and place inside of a sampling keyboard, and actually play the Golden Gate Bridge. They not only whack the cables, but the guardrails, the lampposts, even the entire South Tower. They take it all back to a place called DigiDesign and load it into a computer. All those booms, bangs, and twangs become electro-digital booms, bangs, and twangs. OK, let's, uh, let's have a listen to it. Yeah, that's what yeah. it sounds like. It's interesting. Yeah, the harp line now. What, this is the, uh, this the is guardrail. This is the guardrail that we hit with a fist. Yeah. It's kind of a nice sound. I don't care. I do my own. Finally, floppy disks in hand, they take the whole mess to a recording studio where it's fed into Emacs, a computerized keyboard that can reproduce it all musically. When we hit the uh, sound of the bridge with our fist, it sounded like that, and we could transpose it. Okay, we've got the sound of the cables. And the big main hum. So we've got the cheer. Now, after 50 years of silence, the time has come for the Golden Gate Harp to yield her song. Ladies and gentlemen, the Golden Gate Suite. You might think all of this is pretty silly, but now you know for whom the bridge tolls. But we guarantee you the synthesizer ensemble is very serious about Golden Gate harp music. They say with perfectly straight faces that they are bridging the gap between music and technology. Can't you just see Joseph Strauss now laughing up his sleeve at how it took 50 years to realize the greatest hoax of the century? It was a good one, Joe. Thanks. The next time you cross the Golden Gate Bridge, C sharp or you'll be flat. Ha, ha, ha!